lot of times when I'm in the bathtub, I don't know why I start thinking about other Americans who swing big meat and the effect that it's had on me. Like a long time ago, like when our country was like a baby country, I don't remember know exactly when it was. It was a long time ago, right? Like we were a small country, you know, but uh, we had a big heart. But people were fucking with us, right? And I, it wasn't cool, you know? It's mainly pirates. Not like Johnny Depp style pirates, but these wild ass Tunisian, like Arab style pirates. They were gangsters too, you know what I mean? They're like, yo, pay us, maybe your ships get attacked, maybe they don't, I don't know. But Britain would fall in line, pay them. Spain would pay them. Italy paid them. France paid them and did things they didn't even need to do, they just did it, you know what I mean? But back in Washington, uh, Thomas Jefferson was like, yo, fuck that, I ain't paying nobody. I ain't jacking nobody off either. That's not my style. That's not how we're going to get down. So this Arab dude's like, oh yeah, you don't think so? So they rolled outside our embassy and like kicked our flag over and they were like stomping up and down on it and shit. Jefferson's like, yo, what the fuck is with these guys for real? Decatur rolls in like real cocky. He's like, I got this. Steven Decatur's like this young stud, like Tom Cruise and Top Gun style badass. He's like, let me roll over some Marines and fuck them up. No, nah, man. No, nah, too young, man. I think you're just too young. Yeah, man, I think he might be French too, dude. Do I look French? How does this look French? I look French, do you know? Very impressive, man, but I'm gonna send Bainbridge. See, Bainbridge is like this fat, bloated up piece of crap dude who kind of fumble fucked his way through some victories with the British. So he kind of made a name for himself, and I don't know how. But he sails out into Philadelphia, right? And right to do, he beaches himself right on the shore. Way to go, bro. Real nice. So he gets caught, and he's got a call. He's like, oh, dude, uh, I fucked up, man. I need some help, bro. What can you do for me? Dude, you know you're about half a fucking idiot, you know that? Well, uh, they're gonna they're gonna make me their bitch or uh, sell me into slavery. I think. Uh, look, fat ass. There's not gonna be no American slaves on my watch. Excuse me. Can you guys? I'm in the middle of a phone call. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. Thanks. Awkward, right? Yeah, you know. So it's Decatur's turn, right? It's his time to show what he can do. You know what I'm saying? Marines, assemble! There they are, like the baddest group of motherfuckers you ever seen in one place. Like a whole boat full of kicking ass. So they sail up, right? First thing they do is they're gonna set the ship on fire because the pirates are trying to turn the Philadelphia into their ship. And dude's like, whoa, you want some trouble? You got it. Hogan like slams his ass, you know what I mean? And Rocky starts fucking up that Russian. Watch Decatur like blow this dude's head off. Bloom! Jefferson's like happy as a motherfucker, man. He's going like ape shit, dude. He's like big party and parades, man. It's like our first foreign war, right? So the Decatur comes like a national hero, dude. America starts, America loves him, you know what I mean? Jesus loves him, dude. Everybody loves him, man. You see, just fucking, he's the man, dude. The man, dude. American hero, for real. Sex.